One thing I've heard many people say about Lindy Hop is that it is a street dance. And I've always heard them say this with a certain amount of pride. It's clear from the tone of voice that they believe that dancing a street dance, rather than some other form of dance, lends them a certain cachet. And uh, they will sometimes criticise uh, other members of the Lindy community. Ah, oh, no, no, the street dancers don't wear dance shoes, or all that kind of dance shoes. Th those belong in a, a dance studio. And yeah, we, we're, we're, we're cool, right, because we dance a, a street dance. And street dancers are just innately cooler than other forms of dance because, because they just are. Well, I, you know, I question this. Is it so great to dance a street dance? What is a street dance anyway? Uh, is it literally danced in the street? No, no, that's, that's just how to get killed. Don't be silly. Um, hip hop is uh, commonly described as a street dance, and this was developed in, in Manhattan, I believe. And I think you'll find that the streets of Manhattan are really quite crowded with traffic, and it'd be a very dangerous place to dance. No, you're not literally dancing in the street, maybe near the street. Is it a pavement or a sidewalk dance? Um, but that perhaps it's, I have seen uh, hip hop actually d uh, being danced in a pedestrianised zone, but perhaps pedestrianised zone dance doesn't quite have the image that uh, people want. Um, what is a street dance? Well, um, some people will say that it's uh, a dance which has no formal tuition involved, uh, in which case Lindy Hop is oh so definitely not a street dance. Uh, pretty much everybody who Lindy Hops today has taken an awful lot of classes and they've been to dance studios and they've, they've taken formal classes which they've paid for and they have a beginning and an end and a teacher at the front maybe with a microphone now we're all going to do this it's oh so definitely you know a taught dance for almost everyone who practices it now um, so Lindy Hop is not a street dance in, in that sense um, was it ever a street dance well let's see now um, who danced it back in the day well it was the, the 1920s and 30s back in those days pretty much everyone had ballroom skills they could all you know waltz and foxtrot and things um, and uh, if you played them jazz music, then they started adapting those skills, and what you get is Lindy Hop. Um, Lindy Hop's really ballroom dance, isn't it? I mean, let's look at the evidence. Um, the people who danced it had ballroom skills. What were they wearing? Well, they were all generally dressed up in their in their Sunday best, so they're all you know dressed for the ballroom. Where do they do it? Oh, they did it in. Ballrooms, the Savoy Ballroom, the Alhambra Ballroom, the Roseland Ballroom, all these various ballrooms, for instance, that are, we are constantly told of the crucible of Lindy Hop in Harlem in the 1920s and 30s, they're all ballrooms. These people would go out in the evening wearing their nice clothes, using ballroom skills, and dance a ballroom dance in a ballroom. What, what do I mean it's a ballroom dance? Well, it's a ballroom dance in the sense that you have couples, one man, one woman, lead and follow, connection, all these skills are very much in the European tradition of ballroom dancing. Um, Lindy Hop didn't just appear in a vacuum. Uh, these people had already got a long tradition of dancing in couples in the European way. It, it, that, that tradition doesn't come from Africa, doesn't come from anywhere else. Now that's a European thing. And they were, they were dancing to bands, and the bands in those days would be immaculately dressed, all in ties and, and, and coattails and so forth, and with a conductor at the front, and the, the instruments that they were, they were using were all, you know, European instruments that you might see in an orchestra, trumpets and trombones and stuff. Um, so, danced by ballroom dancers, wearing ballroom clothes in ballrooms, um, and today very definitely taught in, 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 in classes and so forth. Uh, now, it's true that there are no formal exams in Lindy Hop that I know about. Uh, sometimes when I get booked to teach at a school, uh, I get asked by this school, will I provide them with uh, certificates for my qualifications for teaching Lindy Hop? And I have to say to them, well, actually, there are no certificates because there are no qualifications, which I think is a rather good thing, actually. I feel freer because of it. I'm definitely uh, glad to be part of what I consider to be a living dance, uh, people coming up with new ways of Lindy Hopping and new moves all the time. Um, but I don't know that that necessarily means that it's a street dance. Um, I don't feel that I'm a street dancer. I don't feel that I'm doing a street dance. I'm doing a ballroom dance to jazz music. And what's wrong with that?